Hello everyone and welcome to Stardew Valley! I am doing no crops again, except for this time we're doing live commentary because the other one hurts too much! So you might be seeing that I am diverting from my typical hero side quest persona and instead I am being a space chicken. So I'm still hero side quest, just different. So our farm name is A Secret. Yeah, that's what we're calling for. Welcome to A Secret Farm. Our favorite plan thing is Planet 4376, which also spells out hero for those of you who are wondering. And we're doing that because in order to do no crops, you have to side with Joja. The only reason I can think to start with Joja is if I plan on being the leader of Joja and thus, you know, uh, stealing it. Oh, there's Junie Mo plushie there. And for my very special <coughs> grand person, yeah, I can only choose male or female, so I want you to have this sealed envelope because I am senile and haven't realized that you're an alien who's taken my grandchild's <laughs> place. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close and I will teach you how to take over the world. There will become a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Yes, I'm not rising in the ranks fast enough in Joja, so I want to take over the world by taking over Stardew Valley first. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Yeah. I mean, haven't you seen space? It's pretty empty. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. That is last words, period. Now let Grandpa rest. Yep. XX years later. Yes, we're a very long-lived race, apparently. Work, rest, work, rest. <laughs> Join us, thrive. No, no, no. Join us, take over the world. Terminated. What's with the hat? I don't even look all that out of place. It took me forever to figure it out. Oh, dude, there's are security cameras up there. That's creepy. And why are those two people standing at the windows then if you have security cameras? If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over it. Dear Space Chicken. <laughs> The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with- <laughs> Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. <laughs> okay, Grandpa's an alien too. <laughs> I have enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and valley. Or my pride and joy, a secret farm. It's it's hidden in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa Space Chicken. <laughs> P.S. It's Lewis is live. Still alive. Say hi to the old guy for me. And probe him, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to spice up this playthrough somehow, and I already have. <laughs> That's not Pam driving, is it? And it looks like there's a beard. Pam is the bus driver in general, by the way. I'm pretty sure I just heard somebody come in, so they're probably going to interrupt us. But, oh well, we're going to try and record as long as we can. And if it's not them, it's the kitten meowing in the background. They are very bored today for some reason and decided to take it out of me and actually will come up and start biting me. <laughs> Hello, you must be Space Chicken. I'm Robin. <laughs> yes, you are Space Robin now! <laughs> the local carpenter, Mary Lewis, sent... The, I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you your, the way to your new home. How do you know? My farm is a secret! He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Oh my gosh, I look so ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, totally not an alien, right? <laughs> this is a secret farm. This is a secret. Ah! 
Plants! Lion life! I've never seen it before! I've been trapped in the big city! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, well, I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> so yes, you can see I chose the hilltop farm. It's my absolute favorite. And here we are, your new home. Oh god, what do I do for Lewis? Ah, the new farmer. I do not guarantee to keep these voices for anybody, by the way. You know me better. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. <laughs> I think he remembers his probings quite well, huh? <laughs> So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Well, it has to be. How else is it going to be a secret, right? Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be more apt, though. I had to quote another YouTuber here, Tag Back TV. What? Am I getting Tom Nooked right now? <laughs> I thought that was just too brilliant. I loved it too much. Don't listen to her, space chicken! She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. Ah, uh, no shit. I want those house upgrades, thank you. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. <laughs> you should get some rest. <laughs> yeah, it's only a couple light years or so. You know, no big deal. Tomorrow, you want to explore the town and introduce yourself a bit. Town's people would appreciate that. I'm sure they would. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come during the by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> Robin just leaves without saying goodbye. She storms off. I want to marry you, Robin, but you're making it hard. So, as far as romance, I usually romance Leah. She's my absolute favorite. We all know this. Hey, look! My first item to sell. So it's gonna be really funny. Um, I can't do most of these uh, quests that will come up. Okay, let me change out these settings real quick. Sorry. Always show tool hit location. <sighs> this one tile indicator? I don't remember. Yep, show advanced. Oh, cool. Neat. I didn't know you could do that. So, my first day, we'll be trying to clean this place up a little bit, get this all taken care of, and get enough- Hey! Get enough wood to make a chest. Cause... See that watering can there? That does not exist. Oh my god, it takes forever to cut down a tree. Realize, on my other account that I'm really actively playing, I'm on year three, and this is not acceptable. Oh my gummy Kai, this is not acceptable. You are here. You are here. You are useless, so that's eventually where my thing will go. Okay. <sighs> Very particular about how I have my tool set up, sorry. So once it hits about nine, I'll start heading out of here, start introducing myself around town. Because I'm going to use up all my energy really fast and I can't just go to the spa quite yet. So I'll also try to remember to get the spring onions this time. I know if you watched my no commentary version that I have now quit because it's just no fun. And frankly, it's just too hard on me. You learn things as you go along. So the greenhouse will be little to no uh, meaning for me. Because this will be no crops. I mean that as well as... So I will not be doing fruit trees. I will not be doing any of that stuff. I'm going to keep to the spirit of the item and not just the letter of it, basically. Oh my god, my energy bar is so tiny. Sorry if I'm sniffly today. I think I'm coming down with something. So sorry about that. Oh, I love this game. It is absolutely one of my favorites. There's some games that just seek, sink into you and will then just never get out, and it's just wonderful, and I love them. Okay. So 
So one of my first goals will be getting the horse because they're so fast. But 10 grand is going to take a long time to save up. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is definitely going for a chicken coop. Because hopefully then if I got eggs lying about, then the witch will come and give me a void egg. Because that is the top thing I need to be doing. Is getting a lot of animals very fast. You'll also notice it's going to take forever for me to get my farming level up in the beginning. So my artisan bundles are going to be really difficult to get. So I'm not sure if I'm going to save things or wait or... Wow, I've never seen lag like that before. It's probably because I spent half an hour trying to figure out what my character should look like. I had a couple of ideas, but honestly, this... Yeah, it just didn't pan out. And that's why I ended up just going with this weird skin tone and everything. Oh shoot, it's already 9 o'clock. I gotta get out of here. Boop. Boop. Make it as easy to get through your farm as you can, right? Okay, the reason why you keep the hoe with you is because I can't. That sucks. I need to go sell these seeds ASAP. Because I need to forage. Yep. Really on the ball here, hero. Um, I believe I can sell 90% of my sap because I will not be making anything with it. Start giving it to people. Make them all pissed off at me. I don't think I can go lower than zero, right? Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent! Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Oh, you're not a- you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. What did you expect your new evil overlord to look like, huh? I am your space chicken overlord, speak to me! Hey, I'm Sam! Good to meet ya. Dumpster diving. Oh, look, it's Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. <sighs> if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. Let's go talk to Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. That's nice. That's all you have to say to me? Okay. Ah, I need that daffodil! Yep, thank you. Oh, that's right, I heard someone new and was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Screw you two. At the same time, I totally get it, so. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived! I'm Marnie! Yep, okay. Hi, Pierre. Did you know you leave? Get out of my face. I don't need seeds. Um, yeah. I don't have to buy anything from you. I think Pierre gets run out of town, doesn't he? If I side with Jojo? I have no idea. I've never sided with Jojo. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. Spring is just lovely. Oh, Leah, I love you. <laughs> it is so hard to think that I might not be romancing her. I really love Leah. She's... Wow. Anyways, let's go give this to Evelyn. I suppose that you can get to dance with Haley first year if you actually just give her daffodils like every day or something like that. Oh my, that look... Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Evelyn, I don't consider my Granny. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off, hmm. Yeah, yeah, screw you too. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we could get along. We're gonna get along and great. I'm Alex. I cannot guarantee I'm going to be reading every single one of these. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it, it's a lot of dialogue in this game. Sweet. Got a lost book for Gunther already. Oh, 
Ah, oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. He's a writer, so he can be my propaganda writer, right? <laughs> I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yep. So I'll be coming down to the beach again tomorrow because Willie will be here tomorrow. There's not a lot you can do on the first day, really. Yes, I will go get the spring onions in a little bit. Hush. <laughs> Hi, pupper! Eh, I can go meet Pam anytime. Hello, Abigail. I guess I'll be buying a JoJo membership pretty early on. This feels weird. I've never done that before. Can't go to the community center anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start giving everybody daffodils, right? Who doesn't like pretty flowers? Hi, Maru! Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. <laughs> I am your no evil overlord. Oh, shite. Oh, wait, Maru, come back. I was going to give you a daffodil. Maru, come back! Thanks. Well, she didn't seem to like that. Normal. Oof. That was a waste of a daffodil. So believe it or not, um, fiber is going to be one of my biggest ones. One of my biggest items that I need right off the bat here. Hello, Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Ooh, biology major. Maybe he could be helpful. Oh, wait, right. You are already married. Two hot people are married to each other. So unfair. I want to marry them both. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I have met her. Thank you. That was very thoughtful of you. Did you like it? Ah. <sighs> No, I'm not going to go looking up everything. Want to go meet Linus? Go talk to him. Really do need more stone. Right off the bat. It's going to be one of my big things I'm going to need. Here. Would you like a leak? I hope you like leaks. Thanks, it might come in handy. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. That's not the voice I use for her. Yeah, I know, I'm horrible. Eh, I'll get to Sebastian later. I'm too lazy. It's not that I'm too lazy, I just don't want to go chasing him. It's like, can you just get out of my way? Or get in my way, I guess? How about just not in my way? I don't know what to say. I don't have anything to give to Linus. I'm so sad. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Yeah, I know. I miss you, though. I would totally marry Linus if it was available. But that's not an option, is it? Here, I have a horseradish. Do you like horseradish, dude? Come here and let me give you a horseradish. This is a great gift, thank you. Doesn't you like anything that's food? Yay! I made Linus happy with me. That makes me happy. Alright. So I'm hopefully going to be saving up all of my fish so that I can make sashimi. Getting on Linus's good side is like one of the most important things to do in the very early game. Because he gives you the ability to get sashimi at, I believe, three hearts. And you just take any fish and you cook it in there and it's just ridiculous amounts of energy and everything like that. Come on. Come here. Alright, I have enough for a fence now and I can't do it yet. <laughs> and of course I meant chest, but I don't have enough room to do it, so that's fine. Chesty! 
drop the sap. Just throw it out. I don't even care about it. Come here, you. You are the first. Uh, yeah. It doesn't matter about the clam oyster. Yeah, put away the oyster. Put away the fiber. I'll be getting tons of wood in that. I'll put that away for now. Alright. So I really hope to get a recycling machine pretty soon. Because that will help out a lot with getting a lot of different items that you wouldn't normally see early on. What am I thinking about? I don't know. My mind just kind of went blank. Sorry. Don't know what I was talking about. Nope. It's gone. <laughs> I'm also going to try and get some bombs and carry bombs. And I can blow all this stuff up and not have to wait till I get a freaking what? Is it steel or gold axe? Steel. So, can I get up to my quarry yet? Looks like I can. Maybe that's why I lost track of what I was saying. I think I was trying to talk about getting up here to my quarry as soon as possible. So that these ore will end up getting me the smelter as soon as possible. How's my energy looking at? Okay. One, two, three. Okay. That's all your energy, folks. Okay, get out of here. Get out of my face. Get out of my way. Ah, man. The walk of shame already. Nice one, hero. Must get to onions. Must forage. Must not be exhausted. Oh, I remember what I was talking about now. I was going to say that I want to get the recycling machine. Gosh dang it. It already just disappeared. So I can get rid of the newspapers, turn them into torches, because I don't have a glow ring yet that gives me all the stuff around me. Okay. That's what I was getting at. Yay! I remembered eventually. See, now look how hard it is to navigate here in the dark. It's only 8.40. I'm already exhausted. So now because I'm exhausted, I don't think... I think I only get like half of my energy back tomorrow. So that's really pretty upsetting, actually. Hold the A button. There we go. I said, I really wanted to do Stardew Valley, but I want to do something that you haven't seen yet. And this is something that really is pretty new, honestly. In my mind, it's a different kind of game to play by playing it with no crops. I mean, what kind of farmer doesn't believe in crops? Oh, right. An alien farmer because they want cows, right? <laughs> That's my nonsense. That's my reasoning. Take it or leave it. So I still need to interest myself to Jazz, Shane, Gus, Clint, Emily, Caroline, I believe. Well, Sebastian too, because I just ignored him. I'm missing 11 people. Wow. Whoops. How are we doing? Seven, five, three. Can't go over there anyways. Doesn't matter. See, if I was playing on the monster farm, I would already be getting attacked right now. Those just mixed seeds. Eh, who cares? They're not worth enough for me to go start and throwing stuff away and then going back for them. If they're here tomorrow, sweet. If they're not, too bad. So we're also going to be focused on getting a silo so we can start cutting up grass for all that. And wow, there is so much stuff to do in the beginning. Kind of forget about it when you've played for so long like this. Okay, I can't find my way around. I can't see. It's dark. It's hard to see. Alright. 
Anything else? Put you away, we can put you away, we can put you away. Tomorrow we dine! It's always sunny, yeah, and then the third day. Okay, living off the land. Here's another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for the greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Thanks, game! Meanies. Fortune teller. Neutral today. And with that, that is our first day of Stardew Valley. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this half as much as I have. I hope you love the idea that I'm a world-dominating space chicken. And I hope we're all glad that I can level one foraging. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. I will see you on the next episode.